Oh, hello, all of you. Eric here, and we're going to start doing an episode here. So don't forget to like, hit the bell icon. Um, this show is about education of classes like math, science, reading, you know, history or something like that. Um, so, the first episode we're going to do in the series is called Eric Math Questions. Alright. Now, let me tell you. What is math? There's all sorts of math out there, okay? We have like bacon, just a minute, bacon herring, bacon herring, while we count numbers and stuff. Math and also science. Equation. Philosophy. That's young one. And so on. And there's all sorts of ranks of mathematics. For you to come in info. A repetit. What is pairing? A basic operation. We got algebra, which is integer, variable, equation, equation. Number three, line, shape, area, volume are example of geometry. Trigonometry. Sine, cosine, tangent, right angle, are example of trigonometry. Calculate limit limit I don't know how I spell it, but derivative integration. They also multi variable calculus with vector and so on. And then you got more advanced math after two. Like 
Dear friend, tell me to fight him. And stuff like that. You know, abstract algebra and so on. That's an example of what math is. If I were to say five plus five plus four. For example, that's a basic counting math to serve. Basic addition. If I would say what if five or four more in this problem? I forget. What if four more than five? And you count five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you get nine. Now, for example, if I were to say negative five plus four. That might be a little bit trickier, too. That actually is an integer. So what we can do is we can create a given one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you have five. Zero, one, two, three, four. Then you have one, then you have two. And we start at 5, and we start at 5 here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, and it starts at negative 1. So negative 5 plus 4 is equal to negative 1. Now here, one more example. Six plus x equals thirteen. This is known as an equation here. Six and thirteen are constant. is a variable. We don't know what that is. I had you, but here's a trick. It's all in plus sign, it's all for S and this equation. We do what is called opposite. And what we can do is that we can subtract it on both sides. That's cancel. And we got x is equal. And that's meaning 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. So x is equal to 7. And we can check by the and we can check to make sure. We know 6 plus 6 is 12. We can add one more, that's 13. So, 13 is equal to 13, and the equation is check. Go for an example of some math for sure. Okay? Go for an example of math. And we're getting more in depth in math as we talk later on. Okay, so we're going to go to an example of math. Go for an example of math. Go for an example of math. Go for an example of math.